boy for a while. Donald Sutherland always seemed larger than life. I always remember certain films my dad would watch and I would see parts and bits of it, but Donald Sutherland just, there was something that stood out about him, his voice, his height, his build, that made him, as I learned the word as I got older, thespian. He was the thespian of thespians. When I looked up his list of roles that earned him uh, at least a nomination for an Academy Award, I was stunned not only did he never win an Oscar, he never received a nomination. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences made up for the oversight by giving him an honorary statuette in November of 2017 at the Governor Awards, rightfully so. He was so versatile. MASH, The Dirty Dozen, Clute, The Hunger Games, Animal House. Now, was Milton trying to tell us that being bad was more fun than being good? Heaven help us. Playing X in JFK, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Six Degrees of Separation. Did you say you could have been killed? It's only hours ago. But we're here. <laughs> what is it? Happy the bride the sun shines on. And a favorite of mine playing Bill Bowerman, Steve Prefontaine's college coach in the film Without Limits. Your pulse is north of 190. Just a rough guess, but I'd say you were exceeding the agreed-upon speed limit, Rube. But the film I feel he deserved a gold statue for the most was his performance in the 1981 film Ordinary People. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to figure out what happened down there. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry about it all. I'm sorry about the whole thing. When I said I didn't mean it, just please tell her. Just tell her. Tell her I'm sorry, will you? Why don't you tell her? Oh, God, no, I can't. Don't you see? I can't talk to her. Why not? Oh, because it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the way she looks at me. How he didn't get nominated is unthinkable. I mean, who didn't get nominated in front and behind the camera for Ordinary People? It won for Best Picture. Robert Redford won for Best Director. It won Best Screenplay. A then 19-year-old Timothy Hutton won Best Actor in a Supporting Role. I need to see you. What time? I don't know. Where are you? I, I don't know. And Mary Tyler Moore was nominated for Best Actress. Plus, Judd Hirsch was nominated for Best Actor in a Supporting Role, playing the therapist working to heal their surviving son. It's impossible after all the shit I've pulled. What shit have you pulled? Hey. Remember, I'm talking proportion here. Now watch it. Donald Sutherland is the backbone and the heartbeat of the film. Roger Ebert wrote this about Donald Sutherland's performance as the father. It's one of those men who wants to do and feel the right things in his own awkward way. The change he goes through during the movie is one of the saddest ones, realizing his wife cannot truly care for others. He questions his own love for her, for the first time in their marriage. Only maybe I'm just a little more honest about well, it. Well, stop being so goddamned honest and start being a little generous and start thinking about him for a while. I don't know what it is he expects from me. I never have known. Well, I'll tell you what he expects. What? He wants me to throw my arms around him every time he passes an exam? Well, I can't do it. The scene when he finally stands up to his wife for her cold, unloving treatment of their son is a scene all serious future generation actors should watch and learn from the master. Donald Sutherland. It would have been all right if there hadn't been any mess. But you can't handle mess. You need everything neat and easy. I don't know. Maybe you can't love anybody. It was so much buck. When Buck died, it was as if you buried all your love with him, and I don't understand that. I just don't know. I don't... Maybe it wasn't even Buck. Maybe it was just you. Maybe, finally, it was the best of you that you buried. But whatever it was, I don't know who you are. 
I don't know what we've been playing at. So I was crying. Because I don't know if I love you anymore. And I don't know what I'm going to do without that. 